Oh, hello, everyone. My name is Bai Tong Chen. I'm a master's student in Iowa State U University. My major is agriculture and uh, biosystems engineering. And my major professor is Yazik Kozil. This presentation is giving you a, an overview of the effectiveness of manure additives on mitigating the emissions from the swine manure we have been tested in our lab. <coughs> First, I will give you some background information about manure additives. This table is organized by Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. It provides about 12 methods to mitigating the emissions from the manure. As shown on this table, the manure additive is, does not have very high impact on mitigating the emissions due to the little scientific information on their performance. But manure additives do have a great potential on solving this emission issues. Because manure additive is very cheap compared with other methods. And it's very user-friendly user for the farmers, very easy to apply it on the farms. And the most important is Manure additive can be implemented without changing the curtain manure system, manure storage system we have now. <clears throat> so the object of testing manure additive is to test their effectiveness on mitigating of odor and the reduction of hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, VOCs, and greenhouse gases. And for the farmers, they do care a lot about the impact on manure properties because they will apply it as a fertilizer in fall. A good product should have three characters. First, it has to be very inexpensive for the farmers to buy. Second, the product should be able to mitigate the emission from the manure right away. And the last one is that uh, the product should have a great effectiveness on reducing the target gases. So there are three main approaches for the additives. The first one is a biological approach. Biological approach is basically using some kind of microbials or bacteria to biodegrade those unwanted gases. Second, Second is use chemicals. As we know, all the emitted gases are actually just some kind of chemical compound. The pH of the manure is very important. We can acidify the manure so some of the gases can stay in liquid form and remain in manure. The third one is using the, their physical properties such as peat. Peat could absorb the emissions from the manure and even create a physical barrier to block all the emissions. So this is, now, now I will talk about the pilot scale setup in my lab. This is a setup we have been used a lot to evaluate the manure additives. The, the, the manure storage simulators has a height of four feet and a diameter of 15 inch. Each, simu each manure simu storage simulator has a rotometer to control the airflow rate. This setup is to simulate the deep pace manure storage system, which widely used in the Midwestern states in the US. Since there are always new manure additives comes out all the time, we can use this setup to quickly evaluate the product and then maybe move to a bigger scale. So there are four instruments we use to analyze all those target gas. The thermal disruption multi-dimension greenhouse gas GC mass back is used to analyze the VOC gases, VOC compounds. Also, th this machine, this instrument actually equipped it with the optometry. 
So as we analyze our sa sample, this machine break down the compounds and we can smell each compound as it analyzes it. And the second instrument we use is a greenhouse gas GC equipped with flame ionization detectors and uh, electron capture detectors to, to analyze the greenhouse gases. Mainly just the main three, carbon dioxide and the N2O and the methane. And then we use the portable gas analyze, it's called Dragger, to, to measure the concentration for hydrogen sulfide and ammonia in PPM, in parts per million. And the olfactometry we use to measure the odor intensities. And we strictly follow the European standards. So the first manure additive product, uh, manure additive I will talk about is sorbine peroxidase. And uh, with some, with a very little amount of carbon peroxide. Sorbine peroxidase is uh, extracted from sorbine hulls. So basically it's a waste and it's very inexpensive. This, this experiment is on a pilot scale and uh, we only apply soybean peroxidase on the top on the top surface of the manure. The results of this experiment we have the significant reduction in ammonia and some of the little fatty acids which and the phenetic phenonic compounds, which basically means reduce the odor level. And the, but there are significant increase in carbon dioxide and the methane production. And the second, second research we have done is also about soybean peroxidase. But this time we, we did on a farm scale. It also, the result also shows significant reduction on the ammonia hydrogen sulfide VFAs and the phenonic groups, but there are no effects on carbon dioxide, methane, and the N2O emissions. So different scales is very important. Uh, we will have different results. So soybean peroxidase and uh, carbon peroxide only cost about $1.45 per pig, and 60% of them are the cost of the carbon peroxidase. And the third research I want to talk about is the biochar, which is non-functionalized, so it's very cheap, and the biochar is a product from the torrefaction process from any biomass. Also, we applied the biochar on the, uh, the and also this, this, this research is on pilot scale as well. We applied biochar only on the surface of the manure as well. The result shows there are ammonia reductions and the increase in methane productions. And the, depends on the biochar, the, the lowest cost is 15 cents per pig. So, uh, so there, one thing I want to mention is, as, as you said, the two pilot scales has some gas reduced, but there are some other gas actually increased. I have seen lots of research have been done. They're only measuring the target gases but it is, it is very important to measure, to do a comprehensive study like this to see the effect, uh, effect of, the, of, the, of the research because some gases, although some gases reduced, but other gases might be increased in their production. So right now we have actually an ongoing project to test 16 most commonly used products in market. 
And uh, we have a 15 manure storage as I described, simulator as I described before. And uh, each trial we can test four products and uh, one control. And uh, biweekly, by weekly, we will add in manure to simulate the real farm situation. And also the flow rate will be controlled to 7.5 air exchange per hour. And we will collect the sample weekly. Uh, 